Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It has been a hot minute since I have done a vlog style video. So here is a day in the life of our minimalist family. I hope that you guys enjoy it. I tried to film like most of what our day entails and just thought I would take you along and show you, I guess, a broader picture of what our days look like. So if you are curious how our minimalist family gets it done, stick around. Each night I try and reset our house so that when we wake up in the morning, it's not perfect, but it's mostly good. So this is how we try and wake up each day. First things first, I always get my percolator on to start my morning coffee. If watching this vlog black has taught me anything, it is that I drink a lot of coffee. So you're gonna see that a few times today, but I get started with that. And then while that's perking, I always unstack the dishwasher if I haven't done so the night before. So we have a fresh di empty dishwasher to start the day. always surprised at how quick it actually is to unstack our dishwasher. Nine times out of ten, I beat my percolator finishing and get the whole dishwasher unstacked before it's ready. I see in you my mother's eyes and I lay your head to my shoulder. I used to sit down and have my coffee, but I used to find it really hard to get back into the groove once I'd sat down. So now I save that for later and in the mornings I just power through getting kids lunches ready. On this particular day, I only had three kids instead of five, but pretty much my mornings run the same way. I just make a couple of extra lunch boxes. We keep breakfast pretty simple in our house. So on this particular morning, the kids were just having cereal. And as you can see, Caleb is making some smoothies. We really love this time together. The kids sat up at the bench and we have a chat and a laugh while we're making lunches and breakfast and they're eating their breakfast. In the mornings, the kids usually like to play while I'm getting ready, which you'll see in a minute. I try and get fully dressed before we go to school, but I don't worry about any housework at all until we get back from school. Say hi. You shy? Okay, guys, we just got back from the crazy school drop off this morning but we made it didn't we buddy did we make it high five yeah so on the way home i quickly stopped in at our local supermarket today is like the day the specials come out so i got a few things from coles i'm just gonna put that stuff away and then i'm just gonna do a quick tidy up around the house it is going to get too ridiculously hot today. I think they said 36 is the high today. I'll put that in Fahrenheit down here, but it's really hot. And so normally I would take Hamish out to the P-L-A-Y-G-R-O-U-N-D, but it's super hot today. So I don't really want to do that till later this afternoon. So I'm gonna have to find some activities for him to do inside today. So let's get these groceries put away, this air con put on, and this house tidy. Oh my goodness, guys. These are the Ritz Sweet and Salty chocolate biscuit things. 
they're not healthy but they are delicious and they are dairy egg free everything free they are so good they were on sale and the nicest thing i ever tried was this dark chocolate ritz cracker thing and these are so good so if you haven't tried them yet you should definitely try them to get started making some coconut rice pudding in our instant pot i recently got this from a friend and i really do love it i haven't used my slow cooker or my rice cooker since i got it so i'm really enjoying it but this recipe is super simple and i actually have a video where i share this recipe with you if you are interested i'll link it down below Okay guys, we have made rice pudding. I've tidied up out here. I'm about to go into my bedroom. We're gonna play some Lego in a hot minute. However, this beautiful candle, you wanna smell? My best friend bought for me. It is Amalfi Lemon and White Thyme. And it is seriously beautiful, but I have a fear of fire so I don't I'm not great at remembering to burn them and I usually use my scentsy which is just hiding behind the instapot and at the moment oh my gosh I have been burning this scent called bonfire beach oh it's like yeah. smoky and salty woody oceany yeah, cool scent cool scent yeah. yeah and so if you have a scentsy I highly recommend that scent but I thought, because I'm home today, I'm gonna pop this on for a little while out here. Should we light it up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh. How's that? Yeah. I'm running out. Once I've set up Hamish with an activity, I'm gonna get cracking on our bedroom. I used to be really good at making my bed first thing in the morning. Sometimes it still happens, but more times than not, I wait till I get home from after the school drop off. And on this particular day, we had just had a lot of random items make their way into our bedroom. So I am just getting those all back to their proper home. Poor Bubba had had a bit of a stomach virus earlier this week, so I was just getting everything back to its proper home and freshened up. Oh, 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 oh. Just in case you're curious, I still absolutely love my white bedspread. It has been really easy to keep clean. The only problem is this one has started to peel, which is really annoying, but I do still love it. Yes, I know.
Because Hamish has his nap in the middle of the day, I try and give him a large out morning tea so that he's ready to go down for his nap about midday. And before he goes down for his nap, I like to spend a little bit of time with him, playing whatever he wants to do on this particular day. He was all about the Play-Doh. And this just puts him in a really great place to then have a nap. Faces and faces of people with nowhere to go. It is 12.15. I just put Baba down for a nap and I am going to do some work here. I have exciting things coming, guys. Hey, I am so excited to share it with you and I will be sharing it with you very, very soon. There's things coming that are very exciting. I'm having for lunch some leftovers. This is like, it looks gross, but it's like a veggie sausage satay casserole thing and some salad and a coffee and a water. So I'm going to get working on this stuff and my laptop died, which is a bummer. So I'm just working off my phone and out of my planner at the moment. I, I do have another laptop that I could use, but for what I'm doing today, it doesn't really, it's not really necessary. So I'm gonna do this and then if Hamish is still asleep, I might sit down for five minutes and be with my own thoughts. So I'll check in with you later. All right, guys, I just finished my lunch and I thought you guys might have noticed that I don't eat very much during the morning, if at all, and I thought I would explain why. I have a disorder called sphincter body dysfunction and it wreaks havoc with me insides. So I take these Creon tablets to help my pancreatic enzymes. I'm gonna take one now before I forget, because I often forget. Anyway, one of the suggestions of the healthcare professionals that look after me is that to reduce the amount of time that my body has to digest. So to give it the biggest possible break, because the issues I have cause inflammation if I have if my body's got a less time where it's having to do work, it might be happier. I don't really know if it's working. I'm willing to give it a go. I know it was never a big breakfast person anyway, so. Both you and I know. Grab your car keys and jacket, cause honey, we're ready to go. Let's get in the car and you'll drive We're leaving tonight Away from these streets and One of the perks of having a husband that works from home is that he gets a lunch break which he can share with you. This is one of my favorite parts of the day because there's only one little person at home. It's one of those rare moments we can sit down and chat and he tells me about his day and it's really one of the best benefits I can think of aside from the travel time that you get from having a husband that works from home. Before I go and pick up the big kids from school, I like to do one quick go through and get those little bits tidied up because I know that when we get home from school, it's a really fast downhill run towards bedtime. So this is just a great time for me to reset the house before the kids get home. Okay guys, this morning there was a spider incident before we left for school. The girls had come in to make their beds and there was a spider. So then there was a whole heap of hullabaloo and a vacuum. Anyway, welcome to Australia peeps. Needless to say, I just said, don't worry about your beds, I'll sort it out because they were then scared of spiders. I'm like, look, there's no more spiders, but I'm gonna come in and quickly clean up their room so that when they get home, it's nice and tidy. I know I'm gonna get comments down below saying I shouldn't do things for my kids. I get it, I know, but they do know how to make their beds, they do know how to tidy their rooms, but I can make myself a cup of coffee, but I still love it when someone else does it for me. So that's how I parent you do you. Okay, let's get this done. We got 
got no money, but honey, we got nothing to hide. If worse comes to worse, I'll be Bonnie, and you can be Clyde. We've got two hearts ready to fire, and enough ammunition. A 62 heart top to fill with a four speed transmission. Okay guys, it is school pickup time already. And so I've just got our Ning ning ning, is that the bell? I've just got our pile of library books. There's like a little mobile library that comes near our home, otherwise it's the big library not far away. And we're going to swap some books over. Do you miss Nini when she's at school? Yeah. Yes. He asks me from when he wakes up from his nap to when we go to pick her up. Is it time to pick up Nini? So we're going to go to what Hamish refers to as the truck library. And then maybe the playground. I don't know. It's really hot still. So hot. You're going to take Winnie to the truck library? And the playground. It goes round and round. Okay. Let's do this. We are at the, where are we, Bubba? Are we at the truck library? We are at the It is so hot, Siri. How hot is it? It's as hot as the desert. The hot as the desert. There you go, peeps. All right, we're going to go in and change our books in the truck library, aren't we? Yes. We had an interesting afternoon. It was so hot outside today. My kids were just, they had all the feelings. Let's just say that. So I had intended on cooking something else tonight, but I decided, you know what, I'm going to flip that out. I had planned this for the weekend, and we're just going to have it tonight so that I could read with my kids and spend time with them. So this is what we're having for dinner. I've got peas and corn in here we've got some oven baked broccoli some like just cut up potato wedge things and then these are like a vegetable chicken burger thing and i'm going to pull some salad stuff out of the fridge now and we're just going to make up some plates but i'm actually going to finish this vlog here so that i can get this dumped on my computer so i can start editing for you so i hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me i'm not sure if you guys are interested in this sort of video let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see more videos like this or if you prefer like a straight cleaning video let me know down in the comments give it a big thumbs up if you do like it it just lets me know that you want to see more content like this let me turn out, know down in the comments how your day was. I can't wait to hear from you down there. If you're new, I would absolutely love to have you subscribe and join our YouTube family. Here are some other videos I think you might like, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.